Well, hello out there. This is your girl, Diva Diva Fashionista. And um, I'm bringing you a video that I hate to say this, but um, that is highly requested. Ugh, I never wanted to sound cliche, but um, it is true. It's a highly requested video. Um, I am like a lipstick maven or a diva of lipstick or whatever you want to call it but a lot of times I get a lot of questions about my lipstick and um guys and girls alike I really like this lipstick thing so um um I've been asked a couple times especially by women of color so women of color get in here this video is for you um the the trends for the spring we're in spring and mother nature finally got the memo in the NYC because we had two beautiful days of weather and you know my birthday is next week and I have like three outfits on deck and I want to be able to wear them but it, it's going to need some 70 degree weather so I'm crossing my fingers um but anyway um the question I get asked a lot is how do I pull off some of my lighter colors and um there's no real trick to it. It's no real trick to to wearing like the lighter colors, the pinks, 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 pinks. Because um, you know, some of our um favorite celebrities rock. You know, this the light pink, the pastel pink, the Barbie doll pink, um, bright pink, bright colored lipstick is on trend. If you don't know, now you do. Bright lipstick is like the trend for the spring. Um, you just look to Max color collection or fashion sets. I don't know the name of it, but I have a few of them and I'm going to bring you my review or, you know, just watch it in another video. It won't be this video. This video is about rocking that pink lip for that woman of color. And as I said, there's no real secret or trick. Um, really liner. You have to have liner. Liner is your friend. Liner is going to play it up or tone it down if you need it. It's going to accent it. It's going to make that color work for you. So this is that video, the highly requested video of how I rock my pink lip as um, a woman of color. And there's certain fashion family, what I want to call families. Um, color families, I should call it. Um, for certain color families, starting with the pastel. I'm going to start with the pastel. I'm actually going to do a live swatch of a pastel and show you how I get my pastel to work. And then I'm just going to upload pictures because it's going to be a lot of taking off and, you know, lining in. Yeah, it's going to be a lot. And <laughs> I've split each color, each color family into three categories, which is be one, one being the steel two being the bargain and three being the splurge and sorry it's about time about time for a feeling <laughs> in a new fresh coat of paint see i'm losing some paint i'm just gonna keep it real with you you ever watch videos on, on youtube and you see somebody and their nails are busted and you're like they're just reviewing or showing like their nails is on point mm -mm. i'm gonna keep it real with you and i'm gonna keep it real myself yeah, but anyway, um, as I said, it's going to be the steal, the, the bargain, and the splurge. So you can go out and get these products based on what you want to spend and what's in budget. So I'm going to stop talking and get to the swap. Okay, so I'm filming from my phone, so I hope you can see. First tip I suggest is... When you put on your lipstick, avoid the edges of your lips. Now, as you can see, I have a little tint because I was wearing, what did I wear today? I wore Centrifuge, and that's going to be in my March favorites if I ever film it. But um, it stained my lips a little bit, but I think I'm going to be all right. Um, be forewarned, um, if your lips aren't in the best condition, this pastel pink trend, which is still in, it's still, it's still good. It's going to show everything. Every bump, every blemish. As I stated before, I'm getting over a um, rash. So, I have a few bumps. My lips aren't in it, the best condition, but it, they're moisturized. And always when you're doing swatches, start from dark, from light to dark. Because as I said, some lipstick stain. This is my favorite um, pink lipstick from NYX. And now you say NYX. No, it's NYX. NYX. 
uh-huh i'm go that's how it looks this is the I, I would call a pastel pink or bubble gum pink um one of the people who requested this video calls it um powder pink <laughs> but my tip to you is to avoid the ed outer edges of your lips a great liner if you want to go for your steel you're still at a dollar 99 a dollar 49 most places is going to be um nyx purple rain it's comparable to magenta but not exactly guys it's not exactly the same thing so as i said avoid the outer edges of your lips i usually do it this way sometimes i you know line my lips first that is another trick line your lips fill them in all the way and then and then put your lipstick but usually i determine whether or not i want to line my lips this way i avoid the outer edges of my lip put the lipstick on and i look at it and i say hmm does this need a liner so i'm gonna try my best to do this in my phone If you're not as bold as I am, if you're a beginner to this and you're not as bold with your lipstick selection, your lipstick choices, blah, mm -hmm. you um, you might want to use a brown liner. Um, I do. I'm going to show you my suggestions for brown liners, but after you get it on there. Rub your lips in, and you. This is when you decide whether or not you want. It fell right off. <laughs> Blooper. If you need more lipstick, for me, I'm gonna need more lipstick. So if you're a novice, you might want to leave it with just the liner how it was, but you may want to go back in and put another coat of lipstick on. There you go. Paris, my favorite. I always hold it up upside down. Paris my um this is my favorite pink I have several if you want to see sorry for the mess right now but um I have several I have a whole NYX drawer but um this would be my favorite pink a lot of stuff up there I'm, go I'm in gonna get a vanity soon I'm just trying to get this my room together but um that's it. You can either go ahead and gloss this up. Go with the gloss. I suggest something with a purple tint. Purple and pink just makes sense. Especially for a woman of color, you know we can wear the purples. You know we can wear the deeper pinks. But this would be my suggestion for making a light pink lipstick work for you. Now I'm going to start to stop talking and just upload the pictures. I hope this video is um, helpful for you. If you have any further questions, leave them down below. As always, comment, rate, subscribe. I love you, Zivas. Keep it fabulous.